And it's about employees at a residence in New York City who want payback, and literally they want their payback. Ben Stiller stars as Josh, the manager of the tower, based on the Trump Tower, which is used for all the exterior scenes. Investment tycoon Arthur Shaw, played by Alan Alda, owns the penthouse. He's the richest and most important person who lives in the building. Shaw is arrested for stealing millions of dollars in a phony investment scam, which included the pensions and retirement savings of all the employees. Josh comes up with a plan to get their money back. He convinces a few other employees and a downsized Wall Street executive about to be kicked out of the building, played by Matthew Broderick, to join him. And he recruits a professional thief, Eddie Murphy, to show them how to pull off the heist. So this looks like a funny crime comedy. Let's start there. Was it funny, Jackson? Yes, it is very funny. It's got good, sharp dialogue, uh, some genuinely funny situations. And one of the best things about it is that it's not too over the top at all, one of the best things about the film. Now, Ben Stiller is a pretty reliable comedic actor, but do you think people are going to watch this movie to see Eddie Murphy? I think they are going to watch it for Eddie Murphy, and he's terrific in this role, uh, type of wisecracking, foul mouth, smart aleck role that we're used to seeing him uh, before over the last few years or so. He's done all the Shrek movies and family comedies and dream girls. Now we're back to seeing him in the type of role that made him famous. Uh, Tower High starts a little dry, kind of a slow start, but kicks into high gear once Eddie Murphy's on screen. And other big stars in this movie, too. It's a great cast. Yes, Taya Leone and Michael Pena, Casey Affleck and Gabrielle Sidibe from Precious, all in this movie, lead the supporting cast. Uh, try to add some believability to their roles, even though the script has some big holes and is a little far-fetched. But you're having such a good time watching this movie that it really doesn't matter. Now you mentioned Murphy is back to his foul mouth ways. Yeah. What is this rated and who do you believe it's appropriate for? It's rated PG-13 for some language and some adult material. I think it's appropriate for teens and up. And lastly, we got to hear the grade, Jackson. On the Official Kid Creek Report Card, Tower Heist gets a B, one of the most enjoyable comedies of the year so far. Could go down as one of it, uh, as the comeback film for Eddie Murphy, especially if he does a good job hosting the Oscars in February.